What's up guys? It's Steve Cardenas, aka Rocky the Red Power Ranger, and you are watching Smart Tank Revolution. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Smart Tank Revolution, where we always kick out it too. I am your host, the benevolent, intelligent, extravagant, eloquent, and everything in between. That's heaven sent. Mr. Donnie Wonderful, aka Big Time Donnie. Watching in real time Clash at the Castle from Glasgow. And the match that just concluded, Chad Gable, another failed attempt at capturing the Intercontinental Championship against Sami Zayn. And I absolutely loved watching this episode of uh, The Young and the Restless in the Squared Circle. This is Squared Circle Theater right there. Maxine Dupree and Otis play a major part here. And I just really enjoyed the execution. Now, what I'm notice noticing also, had this happened on Raw in the States, maybe I wouldn't have been so inclined to turn this microphone on and talk about it. But the fact that it's happening in these premium live events overseas where the crowd is just soaking up everything, it makes it way more enjoyable. And that just leads me to say this. You know, here in the U.S., we got to step our game up. We got to step our game up because, man, watching that match there, it felt like it was Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan, WrestleMania Six main event in Toronto. They just reacted to everything. I'm looking at Otis's facials like, yeah, man, what you going to do, Otis? Come on, F this Alpha Academy. I absolutely... Uh, listen, I love this match. I I, I, I loved it. I'm not going to rank it uh, a, a, a three count, even though it deserves it. It deserves it for good execution, good timing. Yes, we know that all of these things are, are kind of, you know, like predictable at this point. And you see the buildup. But this is what I'm saying here. This is what I want us all to pay in mind. The last great buildup i'm talking about like from beginning to end involved Sami Zayn and the bloodline and you all remember how that went it was everything everything was 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 perfect when we when we think about it in 2020 hindsight right so we see the same thing happening with alpha academy you know with maxine dupree and Otis's reluctance to follow Chad Gable's new heelish type of uh, guidance here. And, you know, when they take it on the road or when they take it on television, you know, we're into it. The universe is spoken. We're into it. This might be the next big thing here. You know, like with SummerSlam around the corner. Hey, the, the implosion. And I believe it deserves a... A, a great spot. This is Chad Gable. I always thought he was good. I thought that some of his roles made him look, you know, foolish. I mean, the, the Shorty G, nobody really liked that. But, damn it, I mean, you guys remember when Chad Gable had the long hair? You know, he, he's he's gone through, his character has gone through a lot of metamorphosis. You know, uh, um, a comedy character, you can take him serious because, you know, his credentials are are you know first class and top grade and he's always been able to wrestle um otis man like o o otis has always been able to 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 win it to win us over you know he he's like a um um let's say a a parallel to otis you know he 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 gets the uh mick foley type of uh sympathy and connection with us and um, not the do loves Cactus Jacks and Mankinds. We love them all, yes. But, you know, Mick Foley. It's something about Mick Foley we all just can't help but love. You know, the the adorable uh, Gentle Giant and or the adorable Big Brute. And Otis gives that type of vibe as well. And watching this, man, I absolutely loved how the Scottish crowd really appreciated what they saw happening right before all of our eyes and they let us know about it us we gotta step our game up we gotta step our game up you know what i mean like when whenever whenever we see 
um, anything in wrestling that has a great crowd reaction, even us at home watching it will be more invested in it. I'm telling you, man. Look at uh, AEW over at Wembley. Look at, um, go back to Backlash last year in, in, in Puerto Rico. You know? Yeah, man, yo, we got to step our game up. But anyway, <laughs> um, Sami Zayn, an another great job, another successful title defense. I give this match two a two and a half count. You know what? I give it a three. All right. I, 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 I give it a three. Both great wrestlers. Both uh, great storytellers, um, the, like the whole the whole thing, you know. This being um, Chad's last chance, um, you know, you know, you know the the drama with um, whether or not uh, Maxine and and Otis will st will step over to the dark side, even though you know they're doing things that they're acquiescing to them. Yeah, I, I loved it. it. It made good TV, and I tell you what. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give it a three count again, and I'm gonna say because now we know a major pay per view is coming up. We know SummerSlam is coming up, and you know heading into heading into the summer and fall. I hope that Sammy does keep this title and that he has great defenses. I would actually love to see him and Kevin Owens go at it go go at it again, but you know there's some upside there, and you know what's gonna happen with Alpha Academy. You know, when, when they're on television, we definitely want, well, I'm speaking for me, actually. I definitely want to see what happens, um, you know, with that storyline as well. Who knows? Will sanity prevail? We never know. But I'm definitely interested, and that's why I gave this match a three count. But now I'm going to have to start giving tiers of my three counts, because that tips the scale. And as... If you're new to the channel, you don't, you yet don't know how bipolar our rating system is. But uh, let's see what's happening now. Bailey and Piper Niven is about to go on next. So let me get back to this pay per view. But I definitely wanted to turn on this mic and praise the Intercontinental Title match over at uh, Clash at the Castle. Donnie Wonderful signing off.